You gonna behave? Hmm? Are you gonna behave? Will you be a good boy? You be a good boy. Okay. Hi everyone. My name is Cindy and this is Sebastian and we're here to talk to you about our sales this weekend. We had an incredible weekend, didn't we? Yes, we did. We actually did over $400 in sales this weekend. The crazy part was is that we had no high dollar items. They were all low dollar items. Yes. Everything was $25 or less, which was kind of nuts. Anyway, the big, debate now, the big debate nowadays is whether or not you should have low dollar items in your store. Is it worth it? Well, without those low dollar items, we would have had zero sales this weekend. But since we had those low dollar items, we ended up doing over $400 in sales, which is how we support our rescue babies. Oh, that was just scary. <laughs> So check out the video and uh, you're going to learn a thing or two about selling low dollar items. So our first item is a prime example of being able to sell something that's broken. This had one of the dragonflies missing. I listed it for 10, took a best offer for 8. These salt and pepper shakers are another example of something that was incomplete. They are vintage hold pottery salt and pepper shakers, brown dip clays, four inches tall. Um, the corks were missing in them, and yet they still did bring six dollars. I ended up selling them the morning after I listed them, so maybe I did list them a little low. This brought our total to fourteen dollars. If you're just getting started, selling items out of your own home is a great way to get going. This bag of ah! computer tote actually belonged to me, used it for years, uh, decided I didn't need it anymore, went ahead listed for 25 ended up a couple weeks later, took a best offer of 17 This brought our total to $31. We were blessed to come across a storage unit that was loaded with things for animals. This is one of the items out of that unit, less than a dollar into it. Uh, I ended up taking a best offer of 13. It's an edible Timothy bungalow house for small mammals. This brought our total to 44. Now this is something I should have thought through a little bit more clearly. Unicorns and rainbows sell. They definitely sell. I did pick this up. There was two sets of masks. Um, I got them for maybe a quarter. I threw them up for $6. They sold within a few hours of listing, bringing our total to $50. So this is another item we got out of a storage unit, uh, less than a dollar into it, brand new with tags. I did have it listed for $29, end up selling for $25. New and used dog toys are a big seller for us. You throw in the Star Wars and you've definitely got a hot item. You can't go wrong. This brings our total to $75. This was a little brownie baker scarf headband for girls donated by a friend of mine. Ended up listening for $7 about three months ago and finally sold. Bringing our total up to $82. So there are some things I just don't care to list, uh, doilies being one of them. They are so hard to research and comp and just time consuming. So I ended up taking the whole lot of these and putting them up. I listed them for $20, took a best offer of $15. I actually took that offer the day after I listed them. Had I held out, I probably would have got my $20. But to tell you the truth, they were sitting here so long waiting to be listed. I was excited to see them go. And that brought our total to $97. Now these two are super cute. Vintage flocked Easter lamb with a pink ribbon and a bunny. I figured they belonged together. Easter was coming. I had a feeling they were going to sell. I'd had them listed for probably six months and sure enough they did sell. I could have sold them individually but I like for my sales to be at least ten dollars if I can get it there so putting them together just made more sense. And this got us over the hundred dollar mark to a hundred and nine. So this is another item I picked up at an auction and I did not pay for it. Someone had left behind a whole table load of dolls. Some of them have been big money bolos, others have been bread and butter like this one. I'm not even a fan of dolls, but I went ahead and listed them all anyway. This is a vintage porcelain fabric doll, 15 inch lace ribbon. I couldn't find any information on her. She was unbranded. I tried to run her for auction. That didn't seem to work out very well. I listed her for 15, took a best offer of nine. I was happy with that. Bringing our total to 118. This is another item that came out of the storage unit, less than a dollar into it. It is a pet first aid kit, has 50 pieces in it. They were comping for about 20 bucks. I went ahead and listed mine. After a few weeks, I took a best offer of $12. Bringing our total to 130. So this is another storage unit uh, find. Less than a couple dollars into it. It was actually 12 toys that I lotted up together. Some were new, some were used, and put it up for 15, and they bought it for 15. 
Toys sell very, very well. We have sold a ton of toys, tons of animal supplies. It's amazing what people will pay for their animals. If you can come across things for pets, pick them up if you can get them reasonable. Whether they're new or used, I can almost guarantee they're going to sell. And our total is up to 145 now. So this was another uh, storage unit find, uh, Arm & Hammer Fresh Spectrum 360 Toothbrush with the toothpaste for the puppies. Less than 50 cents into each of these, selling them for $6 a piece. I had five of these. We've sold two of them so far. Not a huge profit, but it does add up. And so far, we've added up to $151. So this beautiful Vera silk scarf, made in Japan, I actually picked up at an auction. Huge box, I paid like two bucks for, so I've got maybe a quarter into this scarf. Anyway, put it up for 15 and I took an offer of $10 a couple days later. I probably could have held out on this one too, but I get so excited about selling things. I was lunch ah! listening to a YouTuber, and uh, she made the comment. She says, I'm here to sell. I'm not here to store things. And so I always think about that when I have offers coming in. I'm here to sell things. I'm not here to store things. So if I get a halfway reasonable offer in, I'm probably going to take it. And since I've only got about a quarter into it, it's pretty much pure profit for me. And they are so easy to <coughs> ship. Love shipping scarves. And that brought our total up to $161. So this is something that Jerry, one of our board members, picked up. She and I are the ones that do the eBay, the sourcing and the listing and stuff. She likes to do the thrift stores. She picked this up at a thrift store for just $3. If you can find art like this on tile, it will usually sell actually very quickly um, for the most part. We've sold a few things and uh, they usually go out the door pretty quickly. I think we listed this last week, listed it for $25, sold for $25. So keep your eyes open for these. A nice little bolo. And this jumps our total up to $186. Now this was another freebie. I picked it up at that same table that had all those dolls. And uh, so I thought it was kind of cute. I went ahead and listed it. Uh, listed it for $10 uh, probably a week ago. And it sold relatively quickly. Children's clothes are kind of a hit or miss for us. I don't know that I would recommend picking them up unless you get them super cheap. Some things are good, some things not so much. And that brings us a little closer to the 200 mark, putting us at 196. Now, as I mentioned in a previous video, I'm not a huge fan of electronics. These uh, two Guitar Hero Rock Band foot pedestal uh, pieces, I had actually gotten them at auction. So, of course, less than a dollar into them. They were in one of the box lots I had purchased. I do not know anything about video games, so uh, there's no way I could have possibly tested them. I marked on there that they were not tested. Actually put them up for auction, starting the auction at 25. I got one bid, and I was happy to see them go. And that sent us over the 200 mark to $221. There are a lot of awesome people out there that love their pets the way I love my pets. Uh, like I said, we sell a lot of toys, a lot of clothing, a lot of product. Uh, these out of a storage unit, so pennies into them basically. Uh, we also offer combined shipping, which is a very good idea. So a lot of times, well, usually at least once a day or every other day, we get somebody that will order at least two items out of our store. And these were two items that a lady had ordered. So we were able to combine the shipping. We also give them a 10% discount if they have two items, 15 if they've got three items, and 20% off if they buy four items. So it gives them a little bit more incentive to buy more things. So this sale brings us up to $236. So are you guys sick of seeing pet products sell yet? Um, hey, this just goes to show you pet products do sell, whether they are new or used. This was actually a used dog harness. It is a reflective camel one. It was really cool. I kind of liked it. I was tempted to keep it, but uh, did list it, uh, list it for $20, ended up selling it for $20, and it sold within a couple weeks of listing. So keep your eyes open for those pet products. And that brought our total to $256. Now this is another item that I actually had listed for probably five months. But I had a feeling once Easter got here, it would sell. Keep your eyes open for the Sun Rubber Company. Now this one was in absolutely horrible shape. Um, if you can find them in good shape, 
they will be major bolos. This one didn't even have a squeaker in it. And as you can see, it was all stained and stuff. And it still brought in $20. Get your Easter items listed now. That little lamb brought our total to $276. Another item that we usually have pretty good luck with is tools. Uh, things that are new actually, of course, sell better. And actually, we've sold some great vintage tools also. Uh, but this was a uh, six inch medium bench grinding wheel, about three quarters of an inch. Picked it up at an auction. So, of course, I've got maybe 50 cents into it and sold it for $10. I think I had it listed for uh, 15 but... I was happy with 10. Like I said, keep your eyes open for those tools. And that brings our total to $286. So these plates by Noble Excellence, uh, the little barnyard series with the pig and the cow, checkered edges, they were really cute. Um, ended up selling them for $15, not a huge amount of money, but they did bring in a little bit. And of course I picked them up in a box lot, so there's pennies into them. Always make sure you comp your plates because you never know when you're going to come across that bolo. I had a stack of plates one night, which I hate doing, but I was going through and comping each of them. And I did run across one that comped out at $120. I ended up selling it for, I think, $75 or $80. I had it up for a while and finally took the best offer. But I was pretty excited about that coming from a plate. And hey, those plates pushed us over the $300 mark to $301. So this is kind of a neat little piece. It was a vintage souvenir glass paperweight from Alaska. It has wildflowers in it. Kind of cute. Um, anytime you can find things that are souvenirs from other states or wherever, they will generally sell. This one actually did take a few months to sell, and we did only sell it for $8. But as usual, I've only got pennies into it. So it was pretty much pure profit. And that brought our total up to $309. Another auction box lot find. Uh, Love this little purse. Unfortunately, it wasn't marked uh, at all. So it was a vintage black patent leather clutch purse. I uh, thought it was very cute. I did put it up for auction at first to see if anybody would pick up on it. They didn't. I then just went ahead and sold it. Uh, listed, I think, for $20 and ended up selling it for $17. Bringing our total to $326. So old bottles are another thing. They're either bread and butter or major bolo. I've not found the major bolos. I've only found the bread and butter. This, of course, came in a box lot at an auction, pennies into it. I had listed for $10, ended up taking the best offer of 7 only had it up for a few weeks. So it sold relatively quickly. Um, like I said, I'm in a selling game, not a storage game. Bringing our total to 333 so here we are back to the pet products again. We did sell a ton of them this weekend. This is a Kong Cloud collar blow-up inflatable for a dog that has surgery. So I guess somebody was anticipating something. Anyway, listed for $8. It uh, sold the uh, day after I listed it. Uh, it had come from a storage unit, so less than a dollar into it. And that brought our total up to 341 so as usual, this of course was picked up at an auction, although I think I did pay up for it. I think I paid like $4 for it. I was surprised it hung out as long as it did. Usually vintage toys sell fairly quickly. Unfortunately, this one was not working, so that probably held it up a bit. It was a uh, Mattel clown jack-in-the-box from 1953. It was really cool. It was a shame it didn't work. But I did end up getting my $25 asking price. So again, that is an example of being able to sell things that don't work. And that brought our weekend sales up to 366. So this is another example of you need to get things comped. When I say get things comped, you look them up on eBay, see what they're selling for so that you know what to list them for. When I go to auctions, I would in the past bring my boxes back here and I would just go through and organize. I would say, okay, this is going to be donated. This I'm going to keep. This I'm going to put on eBay. I wouldn't even comp things out. I can't even imagine how many things I've sent to the Goodwill that, were worth, that was worth money. So uh, anyway, make sure that you look things up. It's not that hard. It is time consuming, but it's not that hard. This did not bring big bucks. It only brought $15, but uh, made somebody very happy. And hey, $15, that's a bag of cat food. And that item I almost gave away brought our total to $381. 
So brass is another one of those things. Sometimes they're the big money bolos, sometimes not so much. I usually find the ones that are just bread and butter. This was a, a hand spun footed bowl. Uh, it, it was marked on the bottom, which was nice. It made it easy to comp. Didn't comp out for a whole lot, but I did sell it for $8. It wasn't in the best of shape, so hopefully the buyer's happy with it. And that brought us up to $389. So, of course, I picked this up at an auction. Huge boxes of uh, books. I've got pennies into it. Uh, ended up selling it for $9. It was a vintage Jaws paperback. Was not in the best of shape. However, uh, it still brought in decent money, so I couldn't complain. Keep your eyes open and always make sure that you comp the books. That was another thing I used to just throw to the side. Now I go through and comp each one. And that brought the total to $3.98. So license plates are another thing. There are sometimes big money bolos, sometimes just bread and butter. This one was just a bread and butter one at $10. It was actually donated by a friend of mine, so I don't have anything into it. I have sold some other plates for $60, $70 a piece, which is awesome. Sometimes people buy them just for the year to give to people as birthday gifts, which is kind of cool. Um, so keep your eyes open for those used plates. You'd be surprised at what you might get. And that did bring our total over 400 to 408. So this is another thing to keep your eyes open for is manuals. People will pay up for these. Uh, this one was not huge. It was only $10. However, I have sold um, old ski do manuals. I think I got, I don't know, 30 or $40 for that one. And I've sold others for decent money. So keep your eyes open for them. Um, you see them and you think, oh, who's gonna want that? Well, there is somebody out there with that piece of machinery that may be looking for that manual and you never know what they're gonna pay you for it. So don't throw them away. I have made that mistake in the past. And that brought our total to $418. I did tell you we sold a lot of pet products and here it is, just one more item. This was also a used harness. Uh, we did end up selling it for $6, so it wasn't huge money, but uh, again, we have pennies into it, so it was purely profit for the most part. So anyway, like I said, keep your eyes open for those pet products. A lot of times you can pick those up at garage sales and stuff, um, auctions, wherever, for next to nothing. And there will be somebody looking for it. So and that final product brought our total up to $424. Well, that pretty much wraps up our weekend. Uh, definitely was a good one, and hopefully you learned a few things about low-dollar items. They definitely add up. If you have any questions, please post them below. We look forward to hearing from you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.